All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing this deck. I'm just calling it the Casino deck because all we do is flip coins. I played it on stream last night for, geez, maybe an hour and a half. It was really fun. Obviously, you live and die by the coin flips, but Marowak, you know, as long as you're not getting abysmal luck, you should be averaging, you know, one heads that's 80 damage for two energy, really similar to like a Starmie or Executor feel. But the high rolls are really insane. You can knock out a Mewtwo immediately. Um, you know, uh, so many Pokemon in the game. I mean, the only things it doesn't like Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard. Um, it won't get like a Gengar in one hit unless you have a Giovanni and Tutan in double heads. But the high rolls are just completely ridiculous. And then you can end up actually stalling for a really long time by flipping the heads on the Doug Trio. So flip a coin if heads during your uh, opponent's next turn prevent all damage and effects and attacks done to this Pokemon. So even if they swap out, the Doug Trio is still safe, which is really strong. And um, it's just a good um, early poker. And then also if you're playing against Pikachu, just two pokes with the Doug Trio and um, the Pikachu is down for the count, which is really good because Pikachu is, you know, obviously uh, very popular. Um, you can also conserve your Marowax HP because Cubone uh, says during your opponent's next turn attacks used by the defending Pokemon do um, minus 20 damage. So a lot of the times your uh, Marowak is going to come in, you know, uh, full HP, which is nice. We've got the two potions to try and keep this Marowak along, um, around for longer so you can keep getting heads. You have the X speeds because um, whenever you're going first, you want to you want to start with Diglett. Whenever you're going second, you want to start with Cubone. And that's for obvious reasons, right? You're going first, so then you can evolve into uh, Doug Trio and then hit them. And if you're going second, you want to put an energy on and then evolve, put an energy on. And so the X speed helps get the right one in the in the right spot. And then obviously just for, you know, switching without losing energy. So you don't lose too much tempo if you're trying to deny your opponent some points. And then uh, the two Pokeball and the two Professor's Research just to add consistency, just like every deck. We've got the two Sabrina to rob the opponent of uh, energy early and to snipe the last Pokemon. There's one Giovanni in here and it actually does come up uh, quite a bit where it's useful but um it is just a one of because you know it's kind of a tight fit and then the same thing here with the red card and um i've been liking red card at one a lot because um i don't really like to use it until my opponent uses at least one professor's research anyway i think red card might be the card that people misplay the most within this game because they just jam it and um, if your opponent hasn't played a research everyone's got two researches in their decks and then they draw one of the two researches that they still have they research they build their hand all the way back up sometimes you can even give your opponent a better hand I think red card really shines if your opponent's playing like a stage two deck and um, you're trying to deny them like the Dragonair, the Dragonite, the last evolution for Charizard, uh, things like that. So, uh, you know, one one red card, I think, does it a uh, vast majority of the time. But the deck is super fun. Um, you know, you're kind of like on the edge of your seat all the time for uh, flipping the coins and your, your fate's kind of like, you know, in the gambling god's hands. But um, I just want to thank everyone for all the subs and the support lately. It's been really great. And with that being said, let's just get into the gameplay. Oh, I didn't. Whoops. I'll do it after. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hitmon Lee. Well, I know it's Diglett, right? I really want to disincentivize them from red carding me, so using what I can. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, hopefully, I'm just gonna two piece this Hitmon Lee. We'll see. <clears throat> And I'm obviously going to potion that Cubone. So they're basically, they're like, they're like trying to play aggro, right? To that Pokemon in particular. Do I really want a Serena? I don't think so. 
I'll hit it, then I'll hit it, then they'll hit me first, then I'll hit them. I don't know. Is it weird that I kind of like the idea of... I mean, I could also roll heads and kind of fix that whole thing anyway. It's so weird that you flip after the attack. It literally throws me off. I'm just hoping when I take it out, I can roll the heads on the far-fetched and then just win that trade that way. Is that shield icon new? I haven't, I didn't notice it before. Really good top deck. Nice. Let's red card him as well. Shield isn't new, gotcha. Darn. I still have another chance next turn though. And that's if I don't just retreat and try to give Farfetch the business. Red card in a research, the classic, the classic. Ooh, that's nasty. Um, I kind of want to retreat in Sabrina and kill the Machop, but is that just too greedy? I mean, yeah. I might have to make him go through two Marowaks if I draw the second one, so I kind of like this. Oh no. Yes! We can flip coins. Six cards left, so I mean, making them go through two Marowak is actually pretty likely, I think. Yeah, exactly, Dank. It's just like gravy on top. Okay, we do have the Cubone. And I'm also going second, so I might be able to just Marowak them into Oblivion. It's a good matchup to try it. I'll have a little bit of time. So, Pokeballs, Ralts. What we got? Whoa, nothing. Red card. <laughs> Hopefully I get red card. That'd be really nice. They might be holding their red card as well, but... Um, I know this looks really crazy, but I just don't want to get red carded and lose my chances of uh, drawing Marowak, so I'm just going to do that. And it also might trick them into thinking that I do have the Marowak, and they might red card me anyway. So I just don't want to get rid of the, the chances of drawing it here. We'll see if that comes to bite me or not, but... I, I literally just have to roll heads a bunch. That's how I'm going to win this game. What's up, Stadium? A chapel. Probably better. Doo -doo. Yes. Can we do it? Can we end their life?
Fear the Marowak. No. <laughs> Alright, we got one. We just need one next turn. And even if they retreat, I have Sabrina unless they put down another um, basic down there. Uh, they can still do it though, uh, Dank, depending on like how they sell it to you. Because like Marvel Snap reworks cards and they basically have a gotcha system. Um, Hearthstone, it's through pack, same thing. They can change it. Um, I mean, literally gotcha games with like uh, certain characters, um, you know, get nerfs and buffs. So like, I don't know how they legally get around all that stuff, but they can do it. Okay. This doesn't scare me right now. Why'd they Sabrina me just to deal 50? Okay. Give me one heads, pretty please. Sugar on top. And this is why I threw away the X speeds, because I knew if this happened, I could just do this. Dead. I was in whatever countries those are, then they must not have like Genshin Impact, like Fate, Harry Potter Magic Awaken, Hearthstone, like, like, I don't know what countries these are. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting energy first. That's good if I get the setup. Wrong basic, but I could oak into uh, Cubone and um, X Speed, so it could be okay. Farfetched with Giovanni is kind of scaring me. Could just lose that way. Okay. Hmm. Missy should flip two coins simultaneously and apply the energy to different targets. I mean, so basically Maltrace for two instead of three. Yeah. Okay, so if they have Giovanni, I won't just lose automatically. Moltres is in different targets? Oh, well, it can do different targets, so like mandatorily different targets. I gotcha. Moltres just just like do whatever you want. Yo, John. Okay, I lost my X speed, which makes me sad. <clears throat> wow, if I rip one, they could just lose. Whoa, okay. Well, I'm going for it. That felt like a heart of the cards moment. I will definitely take that. I can't believe they didn't have another basic. That seems really crazy to me. Um, John, whenever it does, um, you start playing it. If you join the Discord, there's a friend code channel. And so you can add a bunch of people and, um, you know, have a lot of wonder picks to, check, uh, to pick from. Do, 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 do. help you build up the collection um i've also got a lot of extra ex's i don't mind just you know trading to people that need them so do, 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 do. 
And uh, John, in the horizontal chat, if you do exclamation point Discord, the link will pop up. Most people are in the uh, the vertical stream. All right, let's see what we got here. You know, I don't know if I should research because if I get red carded, I want a higher chance of drawing that research. I want a Sabrina them. That's going to really slow them down, I think. Because the Bruxish isn't going to hurt me for a while. And, um, I mean, what are they going to do? So now if they red card me, at least I have two researches in my deck. The rebuild. Yeah, see, like, if you increase the damage output, though, if it was, like, four for a hundred, I don't know. All right. Don't care so much if um, I get red carded anymore. Do I want to red card them? Ten cards left. I wonder if they have um, Greninja or not. Because I don't want them to have Greninja and then attack me with the Bruxish in case I don't get double heads. So I'll try it. I also might have given them Starmie, though. Ah. That's where Giovanni would be good. Hmm. If the birds were colorless, though, that, that wouldn't be very thematic with the... Um, Pokemon universe, that would annoy the crap out of people. But I guess you're saying they still use the same energy. But yeah, that'd just be weird, though. Are they going to retreat him a Merak for 90 and just tell me that I'm not going to roll double heads? I could see it. After I get this attack off. I mean, maybe I just... Maybe I just retreat, poke this for 40... I think that actually makes sense. And then that would give me two turns to potentially knock out the Starmie with the Marowak. Ah, and well they're not even going to damage this thing. I like it. Mm hmm. Okay. If they Sabrina me, I'm just going to feed them the dead Diglett, right? Diglett's not doing much. Okay. Now this gives me two attempts... Like getting, you know, two heads. So I just need a 50%. Okay, that's one. And so they would have to have Greninja and Geo to kill it, right? So 90, 110, 120. No, they still can't, so... Mm-mm-mm-mm. This is making me want to run Geos, though, because, like, one head's from Marowak, and then... I mean, obviously, I'm just going to feed you the Diglett. I'm guessing he's going to retreat for free. Ninety, one ten, one thirty. Yeah, they had double Greninja and Geo, yeah. Do, 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 do. Not all at once there, though, huh? 
Well, yeah, I guess that, that Sabrina could have been it. Um, yep. Just gonna research, try and set up something else. That's setting up something else. Still have an X speed in my deck, so I can build there. We just need one heads. Yes, yes. Okay. Very hit or miss, but when it hits, it's very um very powerful. Yeah. When people run a bunch of lines, it gets really weird. Oh, we have Doug Trio at least. I'm also going first. This is perfect. Ooh, pretty. Okay, this should be really good for me. I'm only doing this um, so I can try and get a Cubone. No Cubone. Hopefully I don't get red carded, we'll see. Yeah, dank, exactly. Just like too, too greedy, right? Oh, good. My iPad kind of freaked out there for a second. This doesn't change any math, so... I do need to get a heads, though. Darn. Or they need to not have a, another bench Pokemon, but they probably do, right? Yeah, it seems like they do. Or a Geo. Geo or another bench Pokemon. Please don't. Be gentle. They don't have it. Ha <laughs> ha! To the channel. Hitting two digits, if ever accomplished that, would be really crazy. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with the Cubone since we already have the Marowak. Yeah, channel's doing okay. It's so hard to uh, break through all these, um, just these mega channels, man. There's so many. Like, if you filter um, Pokemon Pocket on YouTube and just, like, for the day, it's just, like, dozens and dozens and dozens of um, videos. It's really crazy. I mean, that's what I would expect with a um, Pokemon game, though, right? Oh, goodness. So they're going to body block me with this Zapdos. In case I get red carded, I just want to get the highest chance possible of redrawing Marowak. And next turn, if I get two heads, that would be really, really great. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't mind the lower viewership compared to live. Um, oh, I have not moved my butt since I started this stream. Jesus. Um, I mean, I'd rather sacrifice a Diglett. X speed off the top, pretty please one time. Oh, <laughs> that's the second time I have summoned this X speed. Oh, 
Okay, I got one. I'm happy with one. And I just need one next turn. He's probably gonna run away, though. And then hopefully he doesn't th uh, flip three heads on my Marowak later. Okay, unless you've got another one, it doesn't matter. He does. Okay, so now I have to get two heads. Or get the Giovanni. Oh, goodness. Um, I want to try and set up another Marowak, so you can deal 20 to the Diglett. This is slowing me down from setting up another Marowak, too. Okay, well, I got the other X speed, so now I'm not being slowed down anymore. Let's see it. No. Two tails. That's really rough. Goodness gracious. So that's one heads out of the last four flips. Hopefully they don't get three heads. Okay. Yep. Well, that's very unfortunate. And now I cannot top deck um, the Giovanni. He could flip all tails. It's possible. Mm hmm. All tails. It has to be all tails because, um, well, no, I guess it could be one heads. Pikachu still wouldn't kill me. Okay, well, GG. Mm -mm -mm. Bad side of the variants. I'm going first, so hopefully I get Diglett. Okay, I have Diglett. That flare on Diglett looks really good. If this gets me Cubone, I'm gonna have like an aneurysm. Oh my goodness. It's possible. Um, I actually wouldn't mind being red carded here, so I'm just gonna pass. Not gonna use my red card. <laughs> Again, I want to thank everybody for watching. I just saw the, um... The count on the horizontal stream is eight, so got about 35 people watching right now. That's nice. There's a glitch in the game. Misty only flips heads if opponent has it. What you mean? Oh, 
I mean, I don't really see a reason to do anything, really. I'm just going to let him take down the Diglett. Oh, <laughs> I see. Only if your opponent is using the Misty. I got you. Yeah, that is a big that is a big issue. Okay, now we're gonna send in the Marowak and hope to get at least one heads. Okay. Do I think they have the Pidgeot? Probably not, so I'm not gonna red card them. Alright, just don't give me double tails, please. Good. Are you gonna abandon your water deck? Yeah. That's what it feels like until you like blizzard someone with Articuno on the first turn and just wins the game for no reason. See what they bring up. Is this just supposed to be like bird beatdown? Oh, okay. So it's pest control with Farfetch'd. Okay, whatever they yoink up though, I'm just... Well, they're gonna KO it. No, they're just gonna attack me. Okay. Well, I do have a potion. That does help. Okay, I got one. I'll take one. <laughs> okay. It was going to happen eventually. Yeah, I did. I played it a little bit because uh, Nationals was like 45 minutes from my house. Um, so I played it for like Eight or like ten weeks, something like that. Um, well, I'm gonna give them my Diglett, obviously. But I like the mechanics a lot better in Pocket. Um, I was like 2-3 drop. Um, it was my first tournament that wasn't a local, and I went to like four local tournaments before that. I beat, um... Uh... Both opponents I beat had been to like multiple regionals that year. I was playing a uh, Guardi. I thought about like staying to see if I can go like five, four in Swiss or something like that. But I was like 45 minutes away from my house. I just went home. One of the games, um, I'll never forget it. I literally did not see a psychic energy in Vessel or an Arvin until turn five. And that really tilted me. So when I saw that the energy is outside of the deck in this game, I was really happy about that. But the two wins was, um, one was against Raging Bolt and the other one was against Lugia. Okay, so we just need one more. Why are they doing that? Do they have like a Geo for next turn? I mean, I just have to get a heads, right? Because I have no... I mean, they have nine cards left in deck. I mean, I could be like really safe, try and switch, hope they don't have Geo. We're gonna flip coins. We're gonna flip coins. We're not punks. We're gonna flip coins. Oh no. Yes! I wasn't worried at all. I wasn't worried at all. Mm -hmm. Going second, so I wanna start with Cubo and then. Okay, sadly we have Diglett.
No draw card, so we might just brick to death here. Oh, Zeus. I miss playing Harry Potter Magic Awakened 2, man. The monetization is just so bad. But I'm glad you're uh, in this chat, even if it's just for a moment. Are they going to X-speed me next turn and just Moltres me to death anyway? Jesus Christ. So bricky. There's 14 cards in there, so there's three more basics, two more researches, and two Pokeballs. So... Hopefully I can draw any of those. That would be good. No X speed, okay. Oh yes. Okay, Doug Trio. Pretty please. Alright. This is just silly. Ten cards left, two Cubones, two Doug Trios, one Pokeball, two Cubones. Like all the goodies. Okay, well he can body block me for a long time unless I get double heads on a Marowak, so I think I think I really think that's the only way I'm gonna win this game. Charizard can just straight tank that though. <clears throat> oh, I love this person. Anything's better than that. Yes, yes. Alright, and we still have the Sabrina. I'm not red carding them because they're they're not drawing the Charmeleon. So that's fine. Let's build this up. And now we have to flip heads so the Moltres doesn't just kill my Doug Trio. Easy. I'll take it. Now, if I top deck Marowak and they use Moltres effect, I can just retreat Marowak double heads to win. Yeah, Eric, I think red is like the most misplayed card. I don't like using it until my opponents use at least one research. And I really only use it if I know there's a really good likelihood my opponent probably has like certain evolutions in their hand or something like that. But uh, yeah, red is definitely misused a lot for sure. I saw the animation. I was really hoping they tried to attack it just then. Okay, one acceleration is really good for me. And they still didn't evolve the Charmeleon. Uh, yeah, Zeus, I, I have. have. Alright, give me Marowak off the top into double heads, pretty please? No. Sabrina does nothing, and again, they're not, um... I'm not evolving into Charmeleon, so I'm not going to do anything until they evolve the Charmeleon, and then I'm going to try and get rid of the Charizard in the hand. Okay, whatever that's worth. I was just telling um, Pokemon 60660 that um, I played for like two months because Nationals was like 45 minutes from my house. Um, I, you can definitely have my Diglett. I will sacrifice my Diglett. One thing I love about um, in-person tournaments is like the, the jitters beforehand. And um, I can just tell I did not care at all because I didn't, um, I had absolutely like zero anxiety. Um, Jesus Christ, man. Wait, was I just sitting there? 
What did they? Oh, they Sabrina me. Okay. Okay, now we have to red card and hope they don't draw Charizard. But I love, um, like, before game jitters, basically. These top decks are butts. Yeah, they're really bad. I only run one potion, too. That's the crazy part. Okay, they got it anyway. I mean, there's a good chance. There's two in the deck. Okay. Can I pretty please pull a Marowak and get a Heads? I'm not asking for much. Okay. Woo! Yes, yes. My god, like all the good cards are in the last like seven cards in my deck. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.